out in the desert, but I'm in uh, Morocco and uh, took a trek out into the Sahara yesterday. It's a long journey from Marrakesh, but this morning, during sunrise, we're gonna head back. So, hopefully, you'll stick around because today's gonna be a long journey as well, but it'll be good. Good morning, Kevin. I'm gonna need to ride you again today. I apologize. And now we're off. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. Now we'll get back in the cramped van for our eight hour journey back to Marrakesh. But we are going to stop at the Ait Ben Hadou Kasba and a few other places on the way. So it should be a good journey. I only consumed a small piece of bread at the camp, so this will be my breakfast some caffeine. I don't like falling asleep in the front seat. It makes me nervous. We have now stopped at the Kasbah Ait Ben Hadou, which is one of the most famous Kasbahs in all of Morocco. Um, it's been in a ton of movies. I'm sure I'll hear all about which ones when we get in there, but I'll tell you more about it once I learn more about it. So up there at the top of the hill, is the original wall and structure from when the Berbers settled this area. But some of these gates, including this one here, were built for movies. That one specifically was built in the 60s for Sodom and Gomorrah, I think you said. But further in, which hopefully we'll see where some set pieces that were built for Game of Thrones. Comment down below if you can, uh, if you can guess which city this Kasbah acted as in Game of Thrones. So whenever they have a movie that they shoot here, they don't touch this because this is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, they can't. But here in this big empty area right next to it is where they build the stuff. This is where they built the arena, not the main one, but one of the other arenas and Gladiator. They built stuff for Babel and Prince of Persia. They build it right here and then when they're done they take it all down and they go down the road I mean, about 25 kilometers to the movie studio. There is a movie studio out here in the desert. It's pretty cool. place behind me in this area on top of the hill has been here since the 11th century and they built it here because this is the center between the uh, central Atlas Mountains the Atlas Mountains behind the Maroc behind Marrakesh middle Atlas Mountains and then back over here and all of those mountains are at least 3,000 meters 12,000 feet tall and many of them over 4,000 meters central area indeed Now it is lunchtime and I am very happy about that. Back in our noble steed. This is gonna be the longest leg of our journey back to Marrakesh. It should be good, it should be fine. I'm full, so we're good.
<laughs> you want to say your name? Hi, I'm Matt. And uh, Monica. <laughs> follow. What you Patricia. Do you follow? <laughs> Check <What>? out Jacob. <laughs> two more hours. Two more hours? Uh, two. Maximum. Yeah, maximum two hours. <laughs> We are definitely back in Marrakesh. Lots and lots and lots of bustling activity. Now I have to meet up with Scott, um, which we're supposed to meet up right over here. And then we're hopping on a train. <laughs> an overnight train to Tangier. Tangier. We gotta find him first and make it across this intersection over there. All right, Scott and I agreed to meet around here somewhere. Should be pretty easy to find him, right? Oh my god. By the way, folks, I found Scott. Or he found me. I'm back. <laughs> Give us the That's abbreviated version of what you did the last two days since you weren't on this parachute. Yeah, I was pretty much hiking in the mountains, uh, the Atlas Mountains. I had a homestay for a night. And um, yeah, just kind of trying, I wanted to just really get as high as I could, catch some snow and uh, see what the rural Moroccan life is like, so. And you hiked up to the snow line, right? Yeah, yeah, about like 9,000 feet, about. That's crazy. So, yeah, and the village is at about 6,000, so it was a good 1,000 meter hike. So, That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so we each had our own individual awesome trips. Scott, he also, he also took some photos and stuff, so I'll, mm. I'll show you right now. Scott and I have eaten nothing but Moroccan food since we've arrived and we're just looking for something cheap and quick so we're going to Bistro Taco. Fast food and juice. Traditional Moroccan pizza. It's got, got a traditional Moroccan taco burrito. Something like that. <laughs> Taste amazing. Marrakesh, I am sad to leave you. I wish I had more time here, but I really, really wanted to go out to the Sahara, and I'm really glad I did. But I, I hope to come back to Marrakesh, because I could wander that Medina for days, <laughs> easily. It's a very beautiful city, very interesting in the best way, and I had a great time while I was here. Scott, did you enjoy your stay in Marrakesh? Um, I did, yes, very much so. <laughs> Why did you hesitate? <laughs> I was looking for a good adjective, but nothing oh, okay. came out. So, uh, yeah, no, great time. Overall, yeah, definitely a favorite city out of the three that we've been to. Yeah, I would agree with that. But we have two more cities to go. Um, so I'll tell you more about it when we get on the train. We got ourselves a first class seat, each of us, and it's gonna be great. The seats are super comfortable. We're hoping to sleep, and then tomorrow we're gonna end up in uh, Tongaya. And uh, from there, we're taking an another bus to Shefshan, which is the blue city. We should be our final destination tomorrow. We're gonna do tons of exploring there. It's supposed to be beautiful. And then from there, back to Tongaya, but that's not till Friday. So, here I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna try to get some sleep overnight on the train. Thank you very much for joining me today. As always, I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed already, please click that subscribe button in the middle, including you guys out there from the Sahara trip that are watching this. And uh, if you want to click watch the last video, you can click there. And the next video, you can click there. Thank you as always very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.